Okay, Monday. It's our three months anniversary today. We're back with Zoe. Sad. I feel like I've been coming here for years. <laughs> How are you? He's straight straight into choices. Me to say I feel better. It's been three months. That is some sort of milestone, I guess. Maybe I do feel better. It's his job to know how I'm doing. He knows me better than anyone. Why does he have to ask? Honestly, I don't have an answer. But that's probably not what he wants to hear. He wants to know that what he's doing is helping. Yeah, I'm doing all right. I'm glad you feel that way, Zoe. We've come a long way. We still have a long way to go, but... Admitting to yourself that things are getting better... That's a big step in the right direction. All right. As for your memories, maybe you will remember everything. Maybe you won't. But you want to remember what happened to you before the coma. That's the most important thing. Okay. Do you agree with that, Zoe? Um, yeah, I guess so. Potentially lose everything I've built here. I, I guess it's a risk I'll have to take. I know there's something I need to remember, something I'm supposed to be doing. It's always at the back of my mind. Until I figure that out, I can't find peace. And potentially lose everything I've built here? I, I'm not sure that's a risk I want to take. I feel there's something I need to remember, something, something I need to do. But if it comes back to me, what will happen to my life? I'm not sure I can take losing everything all over again. And I do. I can't stand feeling there's something I need to remember. But you don't remember what it is. I have no idea. So I have to find out. I understand, okay. Let's see if we can do an exercise. Jog your memory. What is the last thing you do remember? Going back a year and a half before it all started. It's all a bit hazy. It's like my memory loss is eating away at the edges, growing bigger. It's vague, like a dream. But I do remember some things. Fragments. I remember some of it. What do you remember? Razor vanishing. Me going after him, trying to track him down. I wonder if this I ended is up in kind Newport. of like... I have memories of sneaking into a house filled with The game with asking me if I played the previous game. It's like remembering a movie where I'm the star, doing things that feel completely foreign to me. It doesn't even feel like I did those things. It's almost like I was, like I was just an observer. I remember being in a safe place and connecting to a dream machine, but that's where it ends. And before that, before leaving Casablanca? Dad was going away. I was throwing a party, then Reza asked me to pick up a package. That's what set it all in motion. That and the static. Now, do you remember what that turned out to be? After I woke up, they filled in the blanks. Apparently it was some sort of glitch or virus. Rogue code infecting the worldwide wire. Someone at Watercorp was using the dream machine to read people's minds. Someone I'd met. Kavanagh. Damien Kavanagh. That's right. The man behind it all, the perpetrator of the conspiracy. He'd put some sort of worm into the code, turning the dream machine into a mind-controlling tool affecting millions. At least that's... that's what they say. He recorded a confession before he... Yeah, he didn't want to rot away in a jail for the rest of his life, but... at least he came clean. Absolved his employer of any wrongdoing. Huh. Convenient. Yeah. In what way? Oh, forget it. I don't remember any of it. All I know is they poisoned my mind. Inserted false memories. Nothing I saw or experienced was real. The little girl on the screens, the other... The other world. Arcadia. Another colourful figment of their imagination. A synthetic dream. And you still remember nothing of going to Japan? Breaking into Watikorp? Nope. 
I exposed a global conspiracy and all they gave me was a lousy coma. Well, we've got some real memory Aside from loss you, here. Reza and my dad, no one even knows I was involved. Reza kept me out of his expose. And even he doesn't know what really happened during the week I was gone. Maybe my friend Olivia knew something, but she passed away. An accident. Right. An accident. So they say. In light of everything, it felt very convenient again. You feel responsible. I went off playing teen detective and people got hurt. A lot more people might have got hurt if you hadn't. Who knows, Dr. Zelenka? I don't, and that's the problem. I don't know what happened, what I did, or what... You're worried something else happened to you. I mean, it's a week of my life. Gone. That's what I'm here for. To help you through that. Whether you remember or not, it's a lot for one person to process on their own. Have you used a dream machine yet? God, no. I feel nauseous just watching the ads. <laughs> They're everywhere. You can't avoid them forever. I don't see one here. Well, I have one at home. I don't use it. Because of me? No. Well, not just that. They are addictive. And while I'm sure they're perfectly harmless entertainment, I worry about the long-term effects. It's becoming a disease, an addiction. I'm concerned about what these lucid, perfect dreams are doing to us. And you were connected to a prototype. There's no way to predict how that may have affected you. Now, I'm sure they're mostly safe, but there's not enough data. I'm very concerned about the effects over time, until I know more. But maybe you should, to get over your fear. That sounds weird. You tell me you're worried about the long-term consequences of the dream machine, and then you suggest I try it. I know, right? You're right. I probably should, but... Eh. I'll think about it. Think about it. Well, she doesn't remember Have the story. Have you spoken with yet? I haven't. Yet. I decided to continue with my degree, so I guess that means I'm not disassociating myself completely from Dad and everything he represents. But he... He rented out the house, moved to Mumbai. We're not exactly close anymore. You don't think you need to talk to him? Of course I do. At some point. I could really use his help with my studies. He's brilliant. I wanted to be just like him. That's why I went into bioneering, but, but fuck, not now. That's perfectly fine. What do you want to talk about? Is the new series of Eurotrash a valid topic? <laughs> why not? <laughs> Eurotrash. Well, what's it called here? Our time is almost up. That's fine. Eurovision, yeah. I'm working today. How's that going? Really good. I enjoy it. A lot. If you do find a way to clean up the river, a lot of people will be happy. I might actually be contributing something to society, for once. And with the voluntary campaign work, I feel I contribute in other ways, too. You're keeping yourself busy and motivated. You've come a long way since we first met. I was a real fucking wreck. I'm not going to disagree with that, but you've come a long way. Thank you, Dr. Zelenka. We really have a some Roman. major police. amnesia. Same time next week? Definitely. Thanks, Doc. Roman. Roman. <laughs> Take care, Zoe. Take care, Doc. Press back to bring up Zoe's journal. Okay. Oh, cool. So from we can read the journal. Three months in therapy, bad shit's crazy. Not complaining. Lost over a year of memories, but I'm getting better. I want to remember, that's a step in the right direction. Spend enough time in psychotherapy. Dear diary, let's move forward and focus on the present. I could not agree more. Monday, July 24th. Cool, 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 cool. Oh my god, that's, that's 12 pages of this. Okay, um, I, th I think I might, I might need to read this because like I don't have much of a backstory to the game. So I think I might need to read this. Probably. Uh, I might not, well I might. I might not read it out loud because um, 
that will take too long, I think. So I'll be quiet, and you guys can read along with me until the end. I hope that's okay.
Oh wow, okay, that was a long read. I know that took like 10 minutes or something. 
Dr. Zelenka. But yeah, I think Rogan. I needed to read that just to get Dr. my Roman? to wrap my head Dr. around. I don't even know what to call him anymore. Not just the previous game, but also what's been going on the past Dr. three months. Uh, Roman. Yes. My next oh. appointment with Dr. Roman is in my calendar, but I might as well double check while I'm here. Maybe I shouldn't be bothering him. Probably has another appointment right away. I think I might have outstayed my welcome. See you next week. Take care, Zoe. Yeah, I don't want to get too, too chummy with him. Oh, that's a nice view. Ah, oh, I can see our house from here. Oh, oh no, not our house at all. So I guess we're not being escorted exactly out. Exactly what you'd expect a psychologist to keep on his office shelf. No tawdry romance novels, fantasy or science fiction, unfortunately. Unfortunately. I see... No, no, I, I really shouldn't. It's a trap. A psychological trap. Ah, oh, I miss Zoe. If that's real wood, it must have cost a fortune. It looks real. Not the sort of thing you'd expect to find in a therapist's office. If I drink more of that awful synthetic coffee at this point, I'll really need therapy. Son, shrink stuff. Shrinky books. Shrinky books. Is that a dragon? Well, it looks like a dragon. What does that mean? What does that say about me? That I'm, um, into dragons? Dragons are cool. Dragons are I cool. could stare at that for hours and then I really would go insane. I see. No, no, I. I'm exactly what you'd expect a psychologist to keep on his office shelf. How can Zelenka afford a piece of furniture like that? It must have been a gift. I don't know. That's. I mean, he's got a massive room. Um, I don't think he, it's out of his pocket to afford that, really. Oh, yeah, well, let's see if she has anything else to say about the view. Seshadri Tower has the best view in Propass bar none. I could stare out this window for hours, but the doc will probably get really annoyed. Yeah. Seshadri Tower has the best view in Propass bar none. If I went to like therapy like this, that'd prob probably be all I'd do is just stare out the window. No therapist's office would be complete without a chaise long. Never used it. Would feel like a dork. No therapist's office would be complete without a sh- I could take a nap and wake up with a doctor leaning over me and- uh, No, stop it! Stupid authority figure sexual <laughs> fantasy. Time to leave. Okay, oh man, I love Zoe. I love Zoe. I didn't know the doc was into cephalopods. I wonder if he has a pet one at home. I always wanted to pet cephalopod. They're the best. I didn't know the doc was into cephalopods. Is I wonder if he has a pet one at home. Is this actually a thing? Knock on wood. Hmm. I don't often get to do that with real wood. Ikea's plastique just doesn't cut it, <laughs> knockwise. Ikea's plastique. Uh, you can do all you want in the future. In terms of how to make a story. Anything That's here? That's my file. I feel an almost irresistible urge to peek. That's my file. I feel an almost irresistible urge to peek. Oh, he's not looking. Oh, nothing at all. A bunch of personal information I had to fill in for my first appointment. And now I feel really guilty for peeking. Boo. I don't know what I was hoping for. A she's real cute note in the margins. <laughs> ah, brilliant, brilliant. Oh, I guess we gotta leave. Oh, well.